Oh, we're filming. I. Oh, it's, I. I just got the baby to sleep. I'm sorry. You look like crap. Uh, get out of here. Jesus. Oh, get man, can't get sleep around here. Hi. I bet you've been wondering where I am lately. I don't know where I've been lately. Fact of the matter is I've taken a break from straight up content creation because I've been a busy man. Hashtag knee deep in baby. But after the last handful of weeks with Waking Titan and the whole kerfuffle that has been the No Man's Sky community since the whole say hello movement BS whatever the shit that was. I've had a lot of time to reflect on this whole thing and where it's going and what it all means and what do we really get done here. So sit back and relax. Don't say a word. Shut your face. Listen to LZ. And let's talk about this whole thing, this shindig that is Waking Titan. More than a year ago, I would have told you that Waking Titan was a necessity to the waking process of getting fans back and engaged in this game, its community, and breathing new life into this franchise. Is it a franchise? This game a franchise? What is a franchise? What constitutes a franchise? Anyway, anyway, two years ago, I would have told you that Waking Titan was a necessity to this whole process of bringing No Man's Sky out of its grave and back to where it's supposed to be. Two years later, I would have said, nah, mm -mm, mm -mm. don't get me wrong. Waking Titan has been cool. It has been fun. But on further analysis of understanding what the hell is going on here and what Waking Titan has really been for, it hasn't really accomplished a whole lot of anything. Consider it for a moment. The idea of an ARG that probably costed, I don't know, if I, I, consider that that was even needed in the first place. Who has that been for? Who has that reached towards? Who has exactly benefited from Waking Titan at all? And should it really continue after all of this is said and done? We really have to be honest with ourselves here and having a conversation about the fruits of Waking Titan and really be honest with the fact that Waking Titan has no more covered a base of people than the ones that were already here. You can't call No Man's Sky a comeback because it truly never left for those who never left. Meanwhile, as great a community as we already are, we can't seem to stop infighting over the most petty and mundane bullshit that we can scrape up. So again, what has Waking Titan really done for us? Listen, it's been a really cool way of giving us new features and maybe some new information. But you also have to think about those new Xbox folks that are about to join in and play the game too. You know, the ones that are curious and know barely anything about this game. What has Waking Titan done for them? What does No Man's Sky, what exactly is No Man's Sky to these folks that you're hoping is gonna just buy this game, right? I wanna make one thing very, very, very clear. I love the living hell out of this game. This was the game that inspired me. This was the game that inspired me to be a content creator, a streamer, and to be highly active with a lot of folks in a community on Twitter, on YouTube, etc., etc. But as much as I love this game, and as much as I love the community, we have to have an honest dialogue and a good conversation about where it's all going. In a matter of weeks, the new next capitalized letters, big words, bold, italicized, underlined update is gonna be fresh in our consoles and PC and that thing called Xbox. And we're all gonna not look back on this too fondly or even really remember that this was even a bickering to begin with. So far in this probably costly way of generating conversation with your community other than, you know, just tweeting, we've learned that capital ships are coming and we get player we get player models finally and maybe gas giants and particularly possibly rings around planets and god knows what else. And that to a very core is really what the problem is. God knows what else is really that's really the conversation we're really having right now. And those of us that are tired and sick of having speculation about what it is we're going to get, pointing fingers at those that we're sick of speculating are ourselves speculating stuff. And I don't understand it. Why do we hate each other so much? But after all of this, after Next gets here and we're all super happy and hugging and holding hands and 
killing each other in the face, it's important that we all come back together and understand what really needs to be done here. There has to be a path forward for No Man's Sky. Right now, we don't know what that is. We have never known what that is. The fact that we even survived an entire year almost since Atlas Rises without eating each other's flesh is because we love this goddamn game so much. And face it, you all love each other too. Come on, now kith. Okay, now bring it back and get some room between you for room enough for Jesus and all that, whatever your principal told you in the 10th grade. The message and really the way that it is delivered has to change post next. I love you, Hello Games. Sean Murray, I want to run my fingers through your hair and tell you how much of a savior you are. But let's just, just, just get over there. Sit, sit, sit. Shh, 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 shh. Listen. It is painfully obvious that No Man's Sky is watching every single thing that we're doing. Every tweet, every Reddit post, every video, hate or not, they're probably watching and listening. Probably on Xanax with how shitty a internet, how bad this place is. Can't blame them. God bless their heart. Going forward with your new player base, whoever the hell that's supposed to be, if we're talking about bringing back people that left or never bought the game, or your new folks over on the Xbox community, the four of them that there are, that's just a joke. It's okay. Don't be mad. Love you, Xbox. I love my Halo machine. It's clear that going forward, it would be a better, more convenient way to digest information if it came straight from Hello Games. No disrespect, Allison Smith. Your company is lit AF. Love what you do. Seriously, love it. It's a great job. Great. So professional. Much amazing. But really, once again, for like the fourth time in two years, not counting before launch, all eyes are on No Man's Sky, again. And once again, it's its fourth chance to capitalize on that. Sean Murray, I know the internet is a shitty place. I know. I'm on it every single day, and it's the pits. But among all of that tar and entrails and baby feces and expired pork sausages or diamonds in the rough, Fans of the game, fans of yours, and people who will probably never let go of your ankles while you drag them along, no matter what it is that you do or say to them. After next launches, it's got to be very clear where this game is going. What's your intentions? What's your support strategy? Because right now, I don't have a whole lot of confidence in your support strategy for the game when I can't even connect to the servers to see other people's bases. You're gonna have to sell me on that one. There is a lot of games out there that have a planned and laid out strategy for the next six months to a year that gives its player base something to look forward to. If you're gonna be dropping a lot of free updates, that's great. Let people know kind of what it is that you're going to be doing. That's necessary. You don't have to give the specifics. Many game producers and developers and publishers and whatever the hell they're called these days, many of those folks don't. Hey, here's this nebulous idea of what we're going to be doing. And Sean Murray, I know you love doing nebulous. You love it. Fans of the game, and of course, your newfound fans and people who are going to finally know what the hell this game is. Maybe. It's imperative that we're able to share the vision with you going forward. Waking Titan has been exasperating. It's been a soul-sucking black hole of hype. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm pretty hyped. It's, you know, it's a, every now and again, it gives, it gives good stuff, I'm not gonna lie. But it's exhausting, because at the end of the day, I'm hyped and I don't even know why. Why the hell am I so hyped by this? Why am I hyped? Help me. But honestly, I can't wait what's about to happen. I'm so happy you Xbox folks are getting the game. Pretty cool. Uh, next is gonna be fabulous. We know that. There was never any question about the update being awesome. Every single update beforehand has been lovely. And uh, yeah, I think if we're going by precedent and what has been set, then uh, yeah, I'm, uh, yeah. I don't have any questions about that. So uh, yeah. Good to see you again. Catch me live every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday live playing for three hours between 7 p.m. Central and 10 p.m. Central. Mostly No Man's Sky, let's be honest. Maybe a little bit of PUBG, Rainbow Six Vegas, uh, and uh, Far Cry 5 perhaps. So it's uh, nice to have you all uh, come by, watch me live, say hi, tell me how beautiful I am or uh, not beautiful I am at the moment. Um, yeah, I'm ashamed. And I love you all, but I'm going to go take a shower now. Because, yeah, my daughter's right. I look like shit. But I'm going to play you out to a song. 
of my people. Bye. Here's a story of a snitch named Leg who was always busy trying to sell his shirts. But no one gave a fuck and it really hurt till one day DM met the snitch and they knew it was much more than a hunch.